Welcome back folks. Training purpose, how to use the TRX-10. We're getting into the menus, so you guys can see how to navigate through the menus and how to use it. Turn, turn the machine on by hitting the button. To get into the menu here, you want to hit the power button really quick. Don't hold it because you're turning off. Just hold really quick and you're in the menu. And the first thing that pops up is your volume. So if you want to turn up your volume for your transmitter, you hit the V key. And then there's your volume. Vol volume. You go, I'm on center on number three, that's the highest. You go zero, you could turn the volume off on your transmitter if you don't want it on. You could do one, two, and three. Three is the max volume. To get out of the to get out of this function, hit the F key, and you're back into the menu, and you just toggle up using that arrow. So the next one up is max power. Max power will give you 90 watts of output. So right now the TX10 is defaulted at 30 watts. That's why on your equipment, when you have high resistance, you see 30 watts. It, it's putting out 30 volts. But if you want to ramp it up for max power to give you 90 volts, you hit the V key, and you can see I'm set at low. You set it at high, and it's giving you all 90 volts down that resistant line. Hit the F key. F key again to get out the menu. And you can see up here, it gives you the lightning bolt. Saying that you're at max power. You're at max power and you're pushing out 90. Right now my leads are next to each other. So right now it's giving me 1 milliamp of output at 90 watts. 90 volts. 1 milliamp output. This will burn your battery down really quickly. So I advise you to use, use max power sparingly. Because this will drain your battery really quickly. Now to get back into the menu. Hit the power button. Back in the menu. That's the volume. We went through that. That's max voltage. Hit the V key to get into the max voltage. Set it to low, which it will default to low for you. Now to get back out of the menu, to get back out of this, you hit the V key once again. Now you're in the menu system. Now you got your models. This one here has different models for the receiver. SL7200, DL7200, PL7200, TL7200, PL TL, PLX. So this, this model, and you got your RD4K. That's the old, old 4000 receivers. So this model here, you toggle and you want to match your receiver to the receiver you have on hand. So I'm using 8200, so I'm going to 8200, I'm going to select that, and then hit the F key. So now I'm, I'm now this model is set up for 8200, so give me, all, give me all the features in here that I have on my receiver. So the only thing I can do is go into frequencies and turn and turn off different types of frequencies that I want to see. So that's the model. So make sure when you have the model, you pair it up to the receiver you have with this. Now, max power. Max power is going to give you 10 watts of output. You can set it down to 5 watts. You can set it down to 3 watts. You can set it down to 2 watts. And you can set it down to 1 watt. So all depends on how much power you want to give current down the line. You could you could set it here. You could set this transmitter to be a one water, a two water, three water, five water, or a ten water. So that's how that's how you could cho choose your watts 
Do you want this is a TRX 10 is a 10 water, but I can lower this down to be a 5 water or a 3 water if I want to put less output. So that's max power. Battery. You want to make sure you have the battery setting correct to what battery you have on your equipment. So hit the V key. If you have Lipinami ion, you make sure you select this. If you have and and this is selected, but you're using a rechargeable battery, your reading, your battery reading here will be off, will be wrong. It won't be reading the right thing. So you want to make sure you pick the right type of battery that you're using for this equipment. And you got nickel. So Lippy and I might have, so I'm going to select this. And get back out, hit the F key. Now, that's battery. Optima frequencies. This is optimal frequency. What this does, this will, when you want your direct connect, this will pick up a frequency, this will set a frequency for you. Set the frequency for you, determining on the resistance you have, the current down that line, this will pick a frequency for, best frequency for you to use to locate that line. I don't like using it. I like to pick my own frequencies for each utility I'm locating. But that's, that's what this function does. It'll pick a frequency for you, which it'll think it's a better frequency. The best frequency for you to locate that utility. Get back out. A language, you can select your language. It has all different types of language. You just toggle up. And it'll pick whatever language that you prefer. We're in English, so hit English. Hit the FP key to get back out. And the next one. Boost mode. Boost mode. Once again, will give you max power down to utility. This will drain your battery as well. This will give you a total of 10 watts down at utility. So you can set it on, or you can set it for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 20 minutes. Or to set or leave it on when you need it. Once again, this will drain your battery quickly. So use it sparingly when you have high resistance down the line. You can use boost boost mode. Frequencies. This is now, this is where you can pick your certain frequencies you want to see. So you're not toggling through all the different frequencies. You can turn on and turn off certain frequencies in here. And I bet you you guys have been looking for this. So hit the V key. And I'm under my frequencies, and you just go toggle up. And if you see a frequency you like, if you want to turn it on or turn it off, you hit the V key, and this one's on. You hear up or down to turn it on or off. So if you want this on, hit the F key to get out, and now you toggle to the next one. If you want 800 hertz, hit the V key, and you can see it's off. Toggle it on, hit the F key to get back out. But I'm going to turn it off. F key to get back out. And you guys can just scroll right through here, folks. And you can turn it on by hitting the V key and the arrow up and down. And then when you pick the frequencies you want, if you want it on or off, to get back out, you hit the F key. And then you're back out, and you can toggle, th toggle through. And you're, and I think you guys have probably seen this symbol here. You're asking what the symbol is. This symbol is directional current. So directional current will point on your receiver where your current's at. So on your receiver, if you pick on 4K, and you pair it with your receiver, you want the symbol on the receiver, and then you have an arrow pointing which way your current's going, up or back, up or back. 
I'll show you that when we do the radio um, the receiver demonstration. But that's what this is. This is directional current. To get back out, hit the F key, and that's frequencies. Information, you can go through that, folks. And then we're back to the volume. So that's basically all the functions that this machine has on the TRTX10. And then when you're all finished with this, to get out of everything, to get back, you hit F key, and you're out of the system. Now, one more th if you want, if your boost is on, you can hit this top arrow and hold it. And then your boost will pop up, and it will... And you see, you got all the four bars, and let me short the leads out. And you can see it's giving you 500 milliamps down that line on boost mode. Like I said, this will drain your battery really quickly, so use use it sparingly when you really need it. When when you really need it on high resistance. And this is your volume here. You can see you got one, two, and three. Those symbols. So it's telling me I'm set to the max because I got the third line right here. So I'm, I'm maxed out. So that's your symbol. You want to make sure you're on amp and voltage. Because like I said in my previous video, if you're on ohms, it's going to read the ohms on that line. So it would be a high resistance. It's going to read the ohms. So let me short the leads to show you that. Right now. And I got one ohm. So folks, you want to make sure you're not in the ohm mode. And if you, if you see this symbol up here and you're in there, just hit the V key. To get back out to your... Uh, milliamps and voltage. And and that's the TX10. That's all the functions to get you guys going to use your transmitter. Guys, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.